The Fortnite leak was real. Let's talk about it, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm just jumping straight into it, guys. The Fortnite leak the other day, if you guys are totally clueless and have no idea what's going on, there was a roadmap leaked on 4chan. And let's just say Fortnite just confirmed that with the announcement of Billie Eilish inside as our next Fortnite festival skin. If you're unfamiliar with the roadmap, this is exactly what it looks like. The funny thing is, is there was also a second thing that kind of confirmed this roadmap in a April. In the Lego Fortnite tab on April, there's kind of like a weird little cabin type home, and that is the announcement for April. And we're actually getting that as we speak, which are the Fortnite farm, Lego farm animals and updates that we've been getting over the past couple of days. Today, as I'm filming this and uploading this, we're getting bears? I think either today or tomorrow, one of those, one of those days. But yeah, that means right away, chapter two OG is a hundred percent coming out this year. And I think the biggest, craziest thing is the fact that the Marvel season will return in some form, which is actually insane. If you're wondering what the next season is going to be, it's going to be apocalypse themed, which I thought was pretty interesting. A lot of you guys have actually told me that the reason why it's going to be themed this way is because Zeus is going to destroy destroy the entire island, which actually makes a lot of sense. I do want to make a video, by the way, the previous director of storytelling basically in Fortnite made an interview um, kind of talking about the direction of Fortnite's storyline. So if you guys want to cover that, let me know in the comments down below. And by the way, hey, subscribe if you guys are new here. We're going to keep talking about some more stuff that was leaked. But yeah, subscribe if you're new. If you want to be kept in the loop, I cover all the Fortnite memes, drama, and all the random stuff. So hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. So yeah, let's talk about what else is basically going to be confirmed. And I think actually in the reality, nothing here is very, it's nothing stands out as crazy. For Lego in May and June, we'll be getting Lego Fortnite. That makes a ton of sense because we are going to be getting a Star Wars collaboration on May 3rd. And for July and August in the Lego Fortnite section, we have Lego Clombo, which I think is pretty cool. I don't necessarily know what that's going to be, but I'm going to assume it's going to be a lot of assets and really cool stuff that is originally from from Fortnite that is now in Lego. October, November, we're gonna get Lego Fortnite Mares, which is really cool. And of course, Fortnite Mares in actual Battle Royale. I don't know if it's gonna be like an event or if it's just gonna be skins, because it is during the Marvel season. Maybe we'll get some spooky Marvel skins. That would be kind of cool, but I'm not too sure. It is a little disappointing though, as you can tell from the, the roadmap as well, chapter two OG is only gonna be one month long. It's the shortest season in that leads into chapter six, of course, but still it, it's quite short and I wish it was a little bit longer. They did the same thing with OG season one or chapter one, I should say, and it was so short. I felt like it flew by and a lot of people didn't really get to like actually enjoy it because it was just gone. As for Fortnite festival, I mean, a lot of these artists, they make sense, you know, Metallica, Carol G, Snoop Dogg. I mean, these are all iconic uh, artists that just make sense. They're very brand friendly. So not surprising that we'll see them as the artists in the game. And of course, Rocket Racing, like I, I mentioned previously, I, I mean, nothing here is very surprising. They've got like a lava temple theme and then like a futuristic heaven theme. I, I don't really know. But I wanna discuss a bit of the drama going around with this roadmap. And that is the fact that a lot of people are really upset with the lack of collaborations. A lot of people, now that they are realizing that, hey, this is like probably real, there are so many people that are disappointed with the lack of collaborations, the obviously the shortened time of chapter two OG, the fact that it's gonna be only one month long. And also the fact that obviously this means we are basically spoiled. So, you know, we the rest of the season is spoiled and like now we have nothing really to look forward to. I know obviously we do because I mean, come on, like we are, we're gonna be getting some really cool things coming. So we're, we're gonna be excited to experience this stuff but it's not gonna be like a surprise. You know, I'm assuming the Marvel season, they were gonna surprise us with it. I'm assuming with the Marvel season, they were going to try to surprise us with it, but now it's gonna be like, eh, I knew it was coming. But this is 100% the biggest leak. I can go without saying, this is 100% the biggest Fortnite leak of all time. Like, I don't think we've ever had an entire year uh, basically leak. That is insane. I think a lot of other people also mentioned the fact that I they were hoping that OG would come back as a two month thing where we'd get chapter one once again we'd start with chapter 
one in let's say October and then rotate into chapter two. That way it would feel like a seamless transition. People who didn't get to play OG season or OG chapter one could now experience it again. Uh, and obviously everyone loved it so they can play it again. And then boom, hop into chapter two, big surprise. Hey, we're not done yet. OG is still here. I think that would have been a really smooth way to do it. But unfortunately that is not the case. And also a lot of people are saying that Epic should really read the room because a lot of a lot of people have said that the Marvel season doesn't seem to fit the current Fortnite landscape, especially with the Marvel, you know, cinematic universe right now. A lot of people have been saying like, hey, right now Marvel movies are kind of not good. They're pretty bad. So it's like, why are we trying to shove Marvel down people's throats when right now a lot of people would much rather just play normal Fortnite Battle Royale experiences that are original and not IP based from a different IP. And honestly, I would kind of agree. I think, uh, I think, you know, I, I don't think we need to rely too much on other IPs for an entire season. And uh, another thing is a lot of competitive players are worried about the broken mythics that usually come with these, uh, this season, the Marvel season. Obviously, if you're unfamiliar, last time we had Marvel, there were the most broken mythics. There were tons of them, I think like over like six or seven in one game at one time. It was actually insane. Um, it literally made pro players go actually crazy. And the fact that we're getting that again is gonna be gonna be interesting and for my anime fans this also means one sad thing that i'm actually sad about is there's no one piece collab no one piece collab in the timeline maybe it'll come in randomly i don't know that was my biggest like uh let down is that there's no one piece collab you know we've got dragon ball z we've got my hero big sad but there was one last thing i wanted to bring up with this roadmap and i'm sure some of you have taken notice and that is the fact that there is no tab for save the world and obviously a lot of we a lot of us know that save the world is pretty much dead and gone but there was always that little slight hope Hope from a lot of the player base that hey maybe one day they'll be like hey we're back hey we're back but unfortunately it is nowhere to be seen in this roadmap which is kind of sad because it has a, a player base there's still sometimes over 20,000 people playing arguably more than rocket racing i do want to make a video talking about save the world in the future so let me know how you feel about that but guys that is it the roadmap is real it is 100 percent real okay may maybe more like 99 percent real let me know how you guys feel about it obviously what are you most excited for what are you looking forward to the most but thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Because I'm making another video talking about the Donald Mustard interview. That is going to be huge. So, so stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.